Hey plant nerds, happy what Wednesday. So in light of us having a skeleton crew this week and next week due to the annual APS meeting and TNLA Expo, I'm going to pose the question, what is APS? And if you're an avid TPDDL fan, which you should be, you will have definitely heard me throw around the abbreviation APS many, many times before. And I'm not only going to answer the what question, um, or what is APS, I'm going to also answer the, the who, when, where, why in relation to this organization. So I really hope you enjoy this information. APS stands for the American Phytopathological Society. Now what is phytopathology? It is the study of plant disease. APS describes phytopathology or plant pathology as an interdisciplinary science that includes knowledge of botany, microbiology, crop science, soil science, ecology, genetics, biochemistry, molecular biology, and physiology. If you're considering continuing your education and are interested in the world of plant pathology, check out the careers tab at APSnet.org. APS started in 1908 with just a small group of scientists, with the first annual meeting actually taking place the following year in 1909. There were 130 members at that time. So who makes up APS? It's people like me and you. So for example, our clinic is made up of extension personnel, plant pathologists, horticulturalists, students, researchers, a diagnostician, and a professor, which all belong to APS. So this society actually came about because of a group of scientists got together with a common goal, and they envisioned for this society to actually serve as, and I'm quoting from APS, um, as an invaluable aid in promoting the future development of this important and rapidly growing subject. So you may be asking now, where can I join? So you can visit APSnet.org and you can join or renew your membership via online or call the member services rep for APS. Okay, so you may not be convinced quite yet that you want to join APS, but you should visit their website and APS will give you even more reasons as to why you should join their super cool and super smart society. Wowzer! Isn't it pretty awesome that there's a society of plant nerds out there for someone just like you? Don't forget to check out their website and uh, meet me back here next week to learn about TNLA. Bye!